Automated testing is a key component to ensure that your application behaves and performs as expected. And at the same time, it allows you to modify your code base with confidence. Flutter allows you to run three different types of automated tests out of the box. It's one of these techniques with different strong points and trade-offs. Unit testing will allow us to test a single function, method, or class individually. It is a great technique to assert that a unit of logic produces an expected value. External dependencies, such as a network component, a GPS location provider, or a database, just to mention a few, are generally mocked out or faked, so different scenarios such as successes or error cases can be simulated in a control environment. Unit tests are really fast to execute, allowing you to run hundreds or even thousands of them in just a few seconds. However, they provide less confidence since they focus on small pieces of code and not in how those pieces integrate with each other. Widget tests are responsible to verify the behavior of a single widget. With this technique, you will be able to interact with the widget, send user actions, and go through the widget's lifecycle without having to spin up your application in a real device or simulator. As we do with unit testing, external dependencies are usually mocked out as well. Because widget tests let you interact with a much larger part of your application, they usually increase the level of confidence when compare them to unit tests. And as it happens with unit tests, the execution time allows us to run hundreds of tests in less than a minute. However, because the host is a simplified version of the real UI system, the level of confidence provided by widget tests is still not as high as we would like to. Integration tests, on the other hand, can exercise a complete application and its dependencies, providing the highest level of confidence of the three testing techniques available in the Flutter SDK, at the expense of execution time. Integration tests will spin up the application under test in a real device or simulator, and it will isolate the application from the scripted test driver, so we can guarantee that the results are accurate. This is also why it is recommended to run integration tests in profile or release mode instead of just debug mode, so you can measure accurately the performance of your application as well.